Hey guys, Phil Swart here from Creative Effects. I've got a quick tip for you today to help you to find where a 2D position lies in 3D space. This will help you to place your 3D objects in a scene in conjunction with a 3D match move camera. Right, so I've got this shot here for you today just to show you this technique. Now what you want to do is you've already got your match move camera. So what we want to do is find out where a 2D position lies in the 3D world. If I create a scene node and just plug my camera in and look at this, you can see that we have the camera, if I play through, but we have no way of knowing where any of the sort of 2D points lie in 3D space. Now there are other ways to do this using point clouds and things like that, but today I want to show you a technique you may not have seen using Nuke's points to 3D node. So if you just type that in and plug one side into the camera and the other side into your image, and look through that, you'll now see that on the left hand corner here we have point A, B and C and a point 2D there. So basically what you want to do is find a position in your scene where you want to place an object or a position that you want to know where it lies in 3D space and go to somewhere near the beginning of your footage and just drag the point A. So if, I'll pick a point here. And once you've got that point, just click on under the A bit here and say set frame. And then do the same in the middle and at the end. I'm going to go roughly to the end where... Okay, so I am going to place C point here. Click set frame and then go into the middle and do the same. And this doesn't have to be precise at the beginning, middle and end. And once you've done that, just click on Calculate and put in your frame range. And this will now calculate through those frames. And once you've done that, just click on Generate Axes. And now once you've got your axes here, plug that into your scene node. And now if you view your scene, you'll notice that there is an axes node there. So that 2D position lies at this point here in 3D space. And if you look at your axes node on the side here, you can see the position data. So now what you can do is, for example, I'll place a card and I'll plug the card into the scene node. And what I'll do is I will use the position data and copy that from the axes to the card. And now you can see that sits straight on that same point. So I'll now unplug the axes. And just to show you, I will plug in a checkerboard just to texture the card now I shall plug a scanline renderer into the 3D scene and just merge this with the original footage and what I'll do is just scale down the card And now just move it just into place. So I'll just move it up. Now if I play through this, You should see it will sit nicely onto the ground plane at the point or the 2D points position in 3D space. It will now sit on that correctly. And obviously this depends on how good your 3D match move camera is. You can see now that it sits quite nicely on that point in 3D space. So this may be something different. You may not have seen this before, 
but um, it's a good technique if you just have a camera and you don't have any of the you know point cloud information you can generate point cloud information but i'll cover this in a future tutorial but for now it's just another technique another tip that you may not have seen before and it's just something that you can use in your shots and uh, you know the more you know the better that you're equipped to deal with any future shots so thanks for watching guys be sure to follow me on twitter and the facebook fan page and please leave your comments below and see you next time